Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about on how to get the critical constants in the Bertolo equation of state. The Bertolo equation of state strongly resembles the Van der Waals equation. And by that, we should, we should be able to talk about the critical constants. At first, we must find the critical constant for volume. So, we must first rewrite the equation in a more suggestive form so that it would be easier to take the derivatives. So this is the rewritten equation that we're going to use. First derivative of this expression from the respect of volume, as you can notice that in here we have a function of z, which we'll call u here, so that the derivative of u to the minus 1 is minus u to the minus 2, and then we take du dv. But since we have a linear v here, so so in here we just it is just equal to 1. So for the first expression, we get minus rt v minus v, the power of negative 2. Then we have a v to the minus 2 exponent here. So the derivative is going to be 2v to the minus 3t, we have 1 in the front, so that it gives us 2av to the power of negative 3 over t. This then gives us the first der derivative that we're going to use in order to get the second derivative. Now we take the second derivative by using the properties of derivative of powers of a function. So we have a 2, we have a 2 here, minus 1, gives us a plus 2 here, a positive 2 in front. The minus 2 now becomes minus 3. Then for this particular term, r minus 3 multiplies with 2 so that it gives negative 6a over t. Then the negative 3 here becomes negative 4. Will be equal to 0. Now, First, we solve the system of equations by setting two equations equal to each other because they're both equal to zero. To do this, we should solve each of the expression in terms of rt squared. First derivative. In order to do so, you must first multiply, oh no, add rt v minus v squared in both sides. So we could have this expression. Then, you could rewrite the fraction. You can rewrite this as fraction so that it would be easier to do algebraic manipulations. Then, after you rewrite it as a fraction, you must first cross multiply it in order to isolate RT. Next is that we'll multiply both sides in terms of T. So that we'll have rt squared. Now take note of this is take note of this equation as it as it becomes our equation one. Now we move to the second derivative. So this is just the same on how you got it, how you got the first derivative. So you multiply, multiply both sides by 6ab to the negative 4 over t, so that you'll have this expression. Then rewrite as fraction so it will be easier to do algebraic manipulations. As you've done um, rewriting it, you must cross multiply in order to isolate our t. Then we divide 2 you should divide 2 in both sides so that it would cancel out 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then, we multiply both sides by temperature so that we should, we should get RT squared. And this is our second equation. Given that the first equation and the second equation is equal to zero, so, so 
to say that equation 1 is equal to equation 2. By doing so, you could cancel like terms. You could cancel v3, v4, with left with v, v b squared, v minus v squared to v minus v cubed. And a, you could cancel all of them. Now, the next step of this one is that you should distribute 3 to v minus b. Then, we multiply both sides by v so that you could remove the denominator, the denominator v. Then afterwards, use algebraic uh, manipulation so that you could isolate like terms. And do, by doing so, now, we, re, now we've reached the conclusion in solving the critical constant of volume. We're going to solve for the critical constant of temperature next. First, just like in volume, you should rewrite the equation. After rewriting the equation, you should get the first derivative of pressure. When you get the first derivative of pressure, um, just like the, just like in volume, you should cancel out RT. We write as fractions given this expression so that it will be easier to do manipulations. Then afterwards, you should substitute the value V, VC, which is 3V. Then simplify it by using that 3 cubed is 27 and B cubed is B cubed. 3b minus b is 2b squared, so it becomes 4b squared. Now, we multiply both sides by 4b squared d. By multiplying 4b squared d in both sides, we should get a product of 8ab squared divided by 27b cubed is equals rt squared. First is that 4b squared should cancel and t would be squared because t times t is the t squared. Then 4b squared, the t would, would be cancelled and 4b squared will be multiplied here. So it becomes 8a a b squared. Next is that we would simplify by cancelling b squared to b cubed. Given that it would cancel it will cancel the cube and it will only be left by b1. Next is that we divide both sides by r so that the r in rt squared would cancel leaving us and isolating us with t squared. Then, took the square root of tc, t, in order to get the critical constant of t. Basically, this is the, the critical constant of t but we could simplify it further but take note we would use this equation later in order to get the critical constant for pressure now by by simplifying this you must first use a prime factorization of 8 because 2 squared is 4 times so it's equals 8 3 squared is 9 times 3 is equals 27 then we would be able to um, um, remove the, this to the chemical coefficient, remove them under the radical, hence giving us the temperature constant of the critical values of temperature. By getting the, the pressure critical constant in the virtual state of equation, Unlike the other, the temperature and the volume, pressure, uh, the, so the solution remains as it is, the equation remains as it is. So that you could just substitute the temperature constant, the temperature critical constant and the volume critical constant. First is that 
we substituted the temperature critical constant that what I showed earlier, the square root of 8a over 27br and 2b for, uh, it became 2b because vc is 3b. So 3b minus b is equals 2b. Then uh, I just I just switch here so that it would be easier to understand. This is just the same, but 3b squared is 9b squared. Then substitute the TC value. And then now what we're next what we're gonna do next is that multiply multiply in both sides the temperature, the critical constant of temperature, which is 8A over 27, square root of 8A divided by 27BR. By this, this would cancel out. And square root divided by, square root times square root would cancel out the square root. So hence giving that there is no square root here. Then, we would simplify by cancelling R. R has been cancelled. V did not cancel because they're both in the denominator, so it became squared. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. That's why it became just like this. Afterwards, we're going to find the LCD. So, the LCD of this is 27, so that this expression here should be multiplied by 3 over 3 so that it will become 3a over 27b. Hence that if you co if we combine both of these to simplify it further, it will become a divided by 27b squared. To sum up where we have been, pressure pc square root 8a over 27b is equals a 27b squared. So in order to cancel this, we must first uh, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of T, which is square root of 27BR 8A, so that it would cancel and it would leave this expression, leaving PC behind. Afterwards, uh, we could use the could use the prime factorization so that it would turn out to be just like this. And then we remove this to become a coefficient and we remove them under the radical. Okay. Then we will simplify it because our 3 divided by 27 is 9 times 2 comes 18. So here we have this expression. After this, we're going to use a algebraic notation that mean, means that x is equals the square root of x squared. So by means, we should square all of this and put it in a square root. Just like that. It's like the same value but uh, it has a different outcome and such. And after this, we are going to compress both of these in a single radical. Then, we simplify it by canceling like, term, like terms. So, a squared over a, the squared will cancel. This would cancel, this would cancel, and this would cancel, giving it a 3. So what left is A, and also 648 divided by 3 is 216. Next up is that we uh, multiply the, the denominator and the denominator and the denominator by 2. 
after war is that 432 gives expression of 144 times 3. Then, gives us the expression of 144 times 3. Then we would use prime factorization of 144. So we give it as 12 squared times 3. Then, by seeing this, we could now put out these two out of the radical. Giving us this notation. So this is the, the critical constant of pressure. In order to do the reduced form of the virtual equation of state, first you must recall the critical constants of BC. In order to do the reduced form of the virtual equation of state, first you must recall the critical constants of BC, TC, and PC. So first and foremost, what you're going to do is that expand Vm to Vc times Vr, which is critical volume and reduced volume. Once you expanded those in the given equation, substitute the values of Vc in the equation, which is 3b. Substitute, substitute. After I substituted the values, you, sim you simplify it so that it will be easier to understand. Then isolate B by using algebra. Like combine like terms, isolate B, 3B R minus 1, so on and so forth. Then in the second, second phase, it's just like similar to volume, that we expand temperature to critical temperature and reduced temperature. Then substitute the values into the, into the equation. Given that the critical, critical constant of temperature is 2 over 3 square root of 2a divided by 3br as you can see the other one here is a reciprocal of it it is, it is a reciprocal because the t is in the denominator meanwhile the t here is in the numerator after that we could use the expression of p is equals pr times pc where you could do you could divide both sides by pc to get the uh, reduced pressure then since we're going to use this this one we're going to have the reciprocal of pc since it's under the numerator we're going to switch it up so then we're going to distribute the pressure the critical critical pressure into this equation into this equation we're going to distribute it so distribute this into the given bracket given that 12 times 3 times 2 divided by 3 is 8 and you will use the algebraic notation that square root of x plus square root of y is equals square root of xy so that 3 times 2 is equal to 6 2 ar times 3 br is equals 6 br the a will cancel though and also it will also substitute in the other side in here which is 12 times 3 divided by 2 is 18 thus 3 times 3 is equals 9 br4 4 a squared since both are in the denominator it won't cancel out and this will just still uh, be the same after you distributed it this is the distributed form here after I distributed it you could we could simplify it we could easily simplify it like cancel out the 6 when you put b inside the radical it becomes b squared square root of b squared is b cubed so it'll cancel out when you put r into the radical it will become r squared 
When you put it there, it will become r squared and it will also cancel. What's left is 8, tr, 3pr minus 1, which is this one. In here, is that the square root of 9 over 4 is equal to 3, half, 3 over 2. Then the remainder of 18 and 9 would leave us this 3. Then, when you put BR inside, I, no, B squared inside, it will become B, B to the power of 4 and it will cancel. When you put A inside, it will become A squared and it will cancel. R will also be cancelled, leaving us the expression of 3, Vr squared, and Tr squared. Hence, this is the reduced form of the Bertolt equation of state. So, good morning everyone. Today, I am going to derive the critical properties from the Dirichlet equation. So first, we are going to rewrite the equation in this manner, and for clarity, we will remove n. So rewriting the equation, we have p equals rt over vm minus b times e raised to negative a over rt vm. So this equation consists of an exponential term, and to calculate for critical properties, we have these two terms round p over round vm and round squared p over round vm squared and at the critical point these two terms are equal to zero so since this solution is too complicated to solve for these terms we will use another technique so once again the dietrich equation consists of an exponential term so we apply logarithm to both sides then applying logarithm we get ln of p is equal to ln rt minus ln times vm minus b minus a over rt vm. And next, we differentiate both sides with respect to vm, and it gives us this equation. 1 over p times round p over round vm is equal to 0 minus 1 over vm minus b plus a over rt vm squared. Now, this is zero because in the previous equation, the ln rt does not contain any vm variables. So as stated earlier, at the critical point, the critical volume, the term round p over round vm is equal to zero. And we have this, this equation, one over p, times uh, round p over round vm at the critical volume is equal to negative 1 over vc minus b plus a over rt vc squared. So by definition, this term is equal to 0. So now from the right side of the equation, we can get the new relation or a uh, new equation and we name this as equation number 1. So we have A times Vc minus B is equal to RT Vc squared. So going back to this equation, this one, we differentiate both sides again with respect to Vm. Then we get this equation. Then rewriting this whole equation at the critical volume, you get this equation. Now remember these two terms again, round p over round vm and round squared p over round vm squared are equal to zero at the critical point. So once again, these two terms are equal to zero. Now from the right side of the equation, once again, we can get a new relation, a new equation, and we name this as equation number 2. And we have it as 2a times vc minus b squared is equal to rt 
Vc cube. Now we use equation number 2 to divide to equation number 1 in the previous slide. And we get the following. 2 times Vc minus B is equal to Vc. And solving for Vc, we get the critical volume Vc is equal to 2B. So to solve for the critical temperature, we use the formula of the critical volume to substitute Vc in equation number 1. So if you remember, this is our equation number 1. And we have A times 2B because we substituted Vc with 2B since Vc is equal to 2B. Minus B is equal to R times Tc because we're looking for critical temperature times 2B squared. Then we have AB is equal to RTC 4B squared. And isolating TC, it gives us A over 4RB. Now lastly, to calculate for the critical pressure, we use the formula of the critical volume and of the critical temperature and substitute it to the rewritten dietary equation. So we have the following. PC is equal to RT over 2B minus B times E raised to negative A over R times A over 4RB times 2B. Next, we have PC is equal to RT over B times E and canceling the variables, we're left with negative 2. Then PC is equal to RTC BE squared and substituting TC again with A over 4RB we have the final critical pressure. PC is equal to A over 4E squared B squared. You can see R cancels. And we have the following summary of the critical constants of the critical pressure, the critical temperature, and the critical volume. So we are going to perform the reduced form of the DTRC equation. So, first we have the critical constants. We have the P sub C is equal to A over 4 E squared times B squared. Then T sub C is equal to A over 4 times R times B. And we have the volume critical constant is equal to 2B. And we recall the DTRC equation, which is P is equal to RT times E to the power of negative A over RTB over B minus B. And take note that D represents the molar value. Since the volume is equal to the critical volume, which is equal to 2B, we now substitute 2B to the volume, which gives us the new equation on the right. And we can factor out the B in the denominator so we can have a simplified form of the equation. So after we factored the B in the denominator, we have the new equation in the right, which gives us the B times 2BR minus 1. Next, we replace the T temperature with critical constant T, which gives us this new equation in the right. We can now cancel the R with R, A with A, and RB with RB, including the 4 and 2. After cancelling, we can now combine the 4B with the B, which will now form the new equation in the right. Now we can substitute the P with critical constant pressure. We apply the reciprocal form of P sub C, then we multiply it with the equation. Then we can apply cancelling which leads to our reduced form of DDTC equation on the right. 